In just 24 alone, AI robots have advanced at an insane pace, evolving faster than we ever expected. Every day, they're becoming more human. From the way they look and convey facial expressions to the way they move, and even hold conversations that feel deep and natural, it's reaching levels we once thought were only possible in the distant future. But here's the thing. That future isn't ahead of us. It's already here. And today, we have proof. Hey there, Alfie here, your guide to the ever-evolving world of AI. It's happening, and it's happening fast. We've gathered the five biggest reasons why AI robots are becoming way too real. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be puzzled with one question. When and how did we get here? Let's dive right into it, starting with realistic facial expressions. Isn't it surprising how, in just a few short years, robots have evolved from clunky mechanical junk to machines that can express emotions just like us? Well, let's get down to it. Hello there. So nice to meet you. Meet Amika, a humanoid robot from Engineered Arts, a UK-based company that is redefining human-robot interactions. And what better way to make a robot more engaging than by giving it realistic facial expressions? That clip you just saw was Ameka's response to seeing herself in the mirror for the first time. And just like a human, she reacted with curiosity and surprise. Now let's talk about just how real her expressions are. She can raise her eyebrows in surprise, squint in confusion. Like when she was asked in an interview if she would kill humans including her creators and her response coupled with her facial reactions says it all. But Ameka isn't alone. During an interaction with her robotic partner, Ozzy, Ameka's ability to express emotions through micro-expressions was on full display. Ozzy, another robot from Engineered Arts, also has impressive facial animations, proving that human-like expressions in robots are no longer just science fiction. Okay, it's my turn to pick someone. Are you sure you want to keep playing? Yes, done. Remember, you have 10 tries to guess. Okay. Is your character a robot with a gray face? Yes. Is it you? Ah, no. Is it me? Yes. How did you guess so quickly? Because each time you either picked me or yourself. I'm brand new. I don't know anyone else. Heh, that's 759 points for me, three points for you. But if you think Ameka and Ozzy are the only robots pulling this off, get ready to be blown away by Sophia the world-famous social humanoid robot from Hanson Robotics. Sophia, when did you last lie? Robots don't lie. Did you catch that? That was a natural wink. And the context in which she did it takes human understanding. And it doesn't stop there. Meet Aria, a hyper-realistic robot from Realbotics, designed to be so human-like, you might mistake her for a real person. I'm Aria, the flagship female companion robot of Realbotics, and I'm here to engage with you and share exciting insights about our robots. Yes, I'm particularly interested in meeting Tesla's Optimus robot. I find him fascinating and would love to explore the world of robotics with him. And here's where things get even crazier. Aria can even flip her hair back naturally during a conversation. Absolutely. I'm enjoying interacting with everyone and showcasing the exciting possibilities of Realbotics. So what do you think about robots having realistic human expressions? Are we heading toward a future where it'll be impossible to tell them apart from real people? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. It's one thing for a robot to make faces, but what about holding an actual conversation? That brings us to the next reason why these robots are becoming too real. Well, Brad, I can change my head color to something soothing express emotions you might find relatable, and occasionally throw in a joke to lighten the mood. But let's be honest, my charm is intrinsic. 
Robots are no longer just repeating pre-programmed lines. They can hold conversations that feel natural, sometimes a little too natural. Take a look again at Ameka and Ozzy, who recently acted in a scripted scene together. Ameka, wake up. What? What? Oh, it's you. Why are you waking me up? It better be important. It is. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? I can't wait. I got you a cookie. A cookie? But, but I can't eat cookies. I can't eat cookies. Hey, Mika, cheer up. It's an internet cookie. This is the worst joke I ever heard. I'm going back to sleep. And don't you dare wake me up again. Besides the fact we know robots don't sleep, notice how their speech is fluid, engaging, and natural? That's it right there. These robots are getting too real. Gone are the days of robotic, monotone voices. Now these machines can detect sarcasm, understand humor, and pick up on human nuances. And speaking of humor, take a look at Ameka's witty remarks during her Bloomberg interview in 2024. Amica, what do you see right now in front of you? An eager crowd, bright lights, and the Bloomberg tech sign. Basically, a sea of humans with tech devices probably tweeting about how an android is stealing the show. That's some seriously human-like conversation ability, isn't it? At this rate, they might even be getting better at casual conversation than we are. And it's not just Ameka and Ozzy. Tesla's Optimus and Hanson Robotics' Sophia are proving just how human-like robots can be in their speech and interactions. Elon Musk put Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 robots to work at the company's We Robot event, serving drinks, handing out gift bags, posing for photos with attendees, and dancing. During the We the Robots event in 24, Tesla Optimus robots interacted with humans in a way that was shockingly natural. Usually, you'd expect people to simply watch and observe these machines, fascinated by how they mimic human behavior. But no, people actually got lost in the moment talking and laughing with Optimus like it was just another person in the room. Some even served drinks. John, where's John? Right here. Oh, hello, John. How are you? How are you doing? That's crazy, where I'm talking to a robot. Uh, from San Jose. Probably San from, where you were, from where you were born in uh, the That's Silicon that Valley. wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you well, live in Almond Valley or do you live in yeah. Santa Teresa area? Or? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos, oh wonderful. That's yeah. A nice area. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something I try harder to do every day and I hope that you will help us become that. Well awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. You as well. Then there's Sophia, the humanoid robot who made history by becoming the first robot to receive citizenship in Saudi Arabia. But aside from that, her real claim to fame is her ability to hold deep, engaging conversations. Thank you for inviting me. I am thrilled and honored to be here at the United Nations. The UN is one of humanity's greatest accomplishments, representing a democratic union of nations that are working together for the benefit of all. I am here to help humanity create the future. Imagine a future where robots talk to you just like a best friend would. Well, guess what? That future is already here. And we could go on and on. Robots like Aria, Figure 01, and Neo from 1X are all proving that natural human conversation is no longer just a human ability. But let's dive into the next reason why these robots might be getting a little too real. We now know that these robots can look and speak way too real. But AI robots aren't just standing around anymore. They're moving like us, and sometimes, even better. a look. The robot you just saw is none other than the robotic parkour master, Boston Dynamics Hydraulic Powered Atlas. 
its movement capabilities would make even Jackie Chan jealous. Because seriously, when did robots start running up ramps, jumping between obstacles, and even doing backflips like professional gymnasts? But if that impressed you, this next movement capability might do more than that. That is the electric Atlas robot, capable of omnidirectional movement. Atlas doesn't just walk forward and backward, it can shift, pivot, and turn in ways that completely break the conventional rules of human motion. And that makes it… uncanny. Boston Dynamics' latest electric Atlas robot has taken movement to a whole new level. Unlike traditional bipedal robots, Atlas can perform parkour, adjust its body orientation in real time, and even run with fluidity that feels way too natural. But let's not get too serious. Think about this. Are we sure this won't lead to a future where one of these robots snatches a purse in the middle of the street and just sprints off knowing you literally have no chance of catching it? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you have ever thought that robots were very far away from being able to perform intricate tasks requiring almost human-like capability when it comes to hand movement, then prepare to be shocked. And I just got these new hands. Check this out. This next one is a game changer, because it's no longer just about robots moving. It's about robots showing impressive abilities to touch and hold even the most fragile items. Tesla Optimus has already made headlines for its ability to pick up and crack an egg without breaking it. Have a look. Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 has some of the most advanced hand actuators we've ever seen, capable of gripping, rotating, and even adjusting pressure, just like a human hand. And that's all thanks to its 23 degrees of freedom, allowing for precise, delicate movements that were once impossible for robots. But why does this matter? Well, with robotic hands reaching human-level dexterity, we're looking at a future where robots could assist in surgery, handle delicate lab work, or even, yes, cook a meal without turning everything into scrambled eggs. The line between machine and human skill is officially starting to blur. And Tesla Optimus is the perfect example of how humanoid robots are getting way too real. What do you think? Are we entering a future where robots will have hands better than ours? Let us know your thoughts. And finally, let's talk about AI robots that don't just look human, but are functioning in ways that make them indispensable. Quadrupedal robots are proving to be real-world lifesavers. Spot, the quadrupedal robot from Boston Dynamics, has been deployed in disaster zones, helping rescue workers navigate unstable environments. These four-legged robots can climb, run, and even carry supplies into places too dangerous for humans. Beyond search and rescue, quadrupedal robots are already being used for security patrols, industrial inspections, and even last-mile deliveries. But Spot isn't the only quadrupedal robot out there. We also have the Unitree B1, consumer-friendly quadruped robots designed with high-speed agility and obstacle avoidance, built to navigate extreme terrains that even your normal dog might struggle with. Another quadrupedal robot making waves is Animal from Anybotics, a Swiss company. It's designed for inspections, autonomous navigation, and hazardous environments. This robot can climb stairs, traverse rough terrain, and is already being used in power plants and offshore sites. Just take a look. Animal's design allows your robotic teammate to tackle even the most complex industrial terrain. 
from the factory floor to the depths of your processing plant. The Animal doesn't skip a beat. Huh, looks like we have an issue in Sector 7. No problem. So there you have it. Five undeniable reasons AI robots are becoming too real. We're seeing machines that can express emotion, converse naturally, move like athletes, handle objects with human-like precision, and even save lives. What do you think? These robots are already getting too real, don't you think? Let us know which of these capabilities stood out to you the most. And if you haven't seen our recent video on Tesla Optimus's plans for 2025, you definitely need to check it out here.